Welcome back everyone, here we go again. Skillion is here for a 1v1 and I'm showing you in the red corner we have Poboxu or something like that <laughs> and he's playing against in the yellow corner OK Bro U1 which if you saw my previous video is Marmalada himself number one on the ladder. I believe the red player here Pobok Zoom, I'll just call him red, uh, is second place, I believe, or at least he was uh, when I was recording this video. So, let's see how first versus second does, and we can <laughs> we can maybe learn something. Let's have a look at the map here, right? We've got a secret little island. If I had to guess, I don't think anyone's going there, but I'm not sure. It looks quite nice. Going downwards could be a safe way to get some resources, but there aren't that many trees really on the map at all. It's actually barely, I mean there are a few clusters but there aren't that many and I should probably clarify when I say safe I mean safe from land attacks right this, this map is right from right for sea invasions which could be pretty cool actually I'd love to see some of that I love some naval combat here and there here we go we got scouts coming in I wonder is he doing this on purpose let's have a look what the fog of war is saying nah he's just following his coastline isn't he oh no he is he is he's pulling his deer in let's see if he reacts let's see the ball walk gonna try hit him. Oh yeah, yeah, the worker too. Nice one. Good job. This guy's catching deer, and I'm over here watching them run away. <laughs> Let's see if Red's okay. Red's gone for the easy one. Red's gone for the cow. What's, what's happening here? The roll, the wall of houses seems similar on both sides. They've both seen an easy opportunity to kind of continue a natural wall from the tree line. Man, that is a bounty, ain't it? I know deer doesn't have that much meat, but that's so good. And I'm assuming he's going to get this cow eventually, too. He's on his way to Asia, and he's got the fight pits coming up just in time, as we've seen to be the meta in this situation, although Red isn't doing it. Interesting. Is that the Stone Age uh, buildings come up after... Oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> he's doing it, yeah. After the troops start coming out, after you've already reached the Metal Ages, and that's interesting because the idea is that you can continue with the metal ages you can make food production buildings so you can fund these cheap stone age troops uh with with metal age economy right so it's actually quite a good int uh, good strategy you know i just sort of realized here that every game i've been watching lately and uploading from these top tier in the 1v1 uh they go asia uh which which is not too surprising i guess because you know, Asia is sort of is cheaper overall, which means that you can react faster and you can get get like prepared and on your feet faster. You can build an army faster and harass your opponent faster. Which in a one v one, where the maps can sometimes be really small, is really significant. The reason I'm still a little bit surprised is because everyone kept. Oh no, his port got cancelled because of the scout was standing there. <laughs> Tactical scout uh, or pathfinder, I should say. <laughs> He's trying again. He's gonna get cancelled again. <laughs> I think he hasn't spotted him. That is funny. That's funny. Where is that coming from? Oh, he's fighting a tiger. Oh man, that's a lot of deaths. Marmalade is trying hard to take out this fucking tiger, but Tony is having none of it. He's like, nope, it's my time. Oh, four of them. <laughs> oh man, four of them. So here we go. Here's that. Uh metal age production we were talking about in terms of all the food now he's going to use it to fund his armies but then i actually take back what i said because it seems like he's upgrading it straight to barracks here i wonder if it's because they realize that the, the map is too big there are too many animals in the way and there's no point see this guy's doing it this guy's doing it anyway whereas it seems like marmalade has made a decision to um he's made a decision to i guess take his time with it a little bit He's gonna, gonna, gonna complete his wall now. This is something I don't do often enough, but can you see like we got the natural wall of houses, we got the trees here, we got the walls here. I think you can still walk along this coastline though. Yeah, so that's the only entryway really. Which is just good because it means you can easier easily more more easily defend. Man, there's so many tigers on this map. Damn that's annoying. What's Red doing? He's going on the defensive a bit too. He's just yeah. So he's built a Stone Age army, but he's not actually attacking with them. I guess he was building them. Oh, here we go. He's going forward now. He's probably partially building them in preparation to defend himself, perhaps. Look now, he's even upgrading them. But now he's like, well, 
you know, if he's not attacking me, these troops are going to go to waste. I might as well go forward, I guess. Oh, man. And here comes the animal selection. <laughs> Insta-kill on the slinger. You see that? <laughs> right. He's going to have another one now, isn't it? He's going to have to go for it. Oh, man. Is it just actually one bang? One hit kill from the mammoths? That's crazy. All right. Here we go. The troops... Yeah, he can, he's going to turn around to defend now. This is this is a really good... I mean, he's just red is toast. Red is absolutely toast. You know, I've just realized that the music has stopped in the background. I've been having this in my, in my videos a lot. Oh, there we go. It's picked up again. You know what? It doesn't matter. I think this time I'll just be careful. If, if, if there's a sound problem with the game again... Um, then I'll just edit some live music into the background. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully this time I fixed it. Anyway, what's going on here is he's getting absolutely rained on by these uh, nice and cheap archers. Marmalada is pushing him back big time. He's got his economy fully in flow. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six warehouses. How many workers has he got? There we go, an absolute buttload of workers, like 64 or something like that. And let's see how many workers Paboxu has. Yeah, way less. Way less. Way less. Tower's coming up for more defense. At least the mammoths have died. It's a little bit safer to attack. Man, these workers are in trouble. Aren't they? And the heavy spearmen. He's backing up. I wonder why he's backing up. Is it just to amass a bigger force? Probably. His workers are sort of... Yeah. Yeah, he's going to clean them up with heavy spearmen with that many. Let's go and have a look what's going on down here. So he has built himself a pier. He's reached uh, East Asia, Middle Ages. Again, this is the most common thing I'm seeing. I, you know, I really thought it was... Uh, everyone told me it's an Eastern Europe meta. But I've just been seeing Eastern Asia up here in the 1v1 rank. Man, these lot look at that slaughtering. Anyway. No, not the fucking tiger. There's so many tigers. Oh, yeah, he's on the defensive now. He needs some support taking out these heavy spearmen. There's a lot of arrows. A lot of arrows. Put them on a the junk. Sail them across. Come on, be a man. <laughs> I want to see it. He's first, he's trying to get his economy going like in a, in a better state. One thing that sucks about Asia is food economy, so you need those fishing ships. Why is it going up here? Man, this means... red has taken a lot of animal abuse this game. But then again, so is yellow in his own base, didn't he? Uh, when he was getting toasted by that tiger. Oh, with the upgraded towers now, this is going to be so hard to push into. This is what I was thinking, if you land down here, you can pressure the bottom, and then your opponent has to build loads of towers to defend the bottom as well, which is expensive, right? And then you can just back off and not do it again. They just wasted their money. Let's see what's going on. Can Marmalada break this deadlock? The map is naturally quite good for defensive play. Not only are there choke points... But there's also, of course, all the animals, which are now gone. But it meant that the early play wasn't so viable. And now this sort of middle play is going to be quite difficult to siege. Got boats up here. I'm interested to see that Marmalada doesn't actually have that many fishing boats. I wonder... Is it just because he thought there's not much fish up here? I wonder what, what the decision was. Maybe he didn't have the resources, the pop cap to spare. He's trying to spam as many archers as possible and, and uh, fishing ships, you know, obviously take a pop cap maybe. Maybe that's what he's thinking. He needs his uh, workers so he can go up to the next age. Maybe it's worth using the pop cap on that instead. I'm not sure. I actually don't know. Don't don't take that as the answer, guys. I'm just, I'm just guessing here. It's up for you guys to guess. You can let me know in the comments what you're thinking, what's going on. Ah, the tigers never end. So he's gone for heavy spearmen and he's gone for heavy archers and regular archers. But what's his next plan? He's got to do something. Rocket cannons. He's broken this pier. Fair enough, there aren't that many fish deposits here left. Wow, look at this army forming. Look at that on the minimap. Can you see? <laughs> it's like a, a big block. He's upgrading these guys. That's probably worth it. Don't upgrade the heavy archers though. That's, that's not. Heavy archers are really so good. Pushing. He wants the map. It's easy to defend, right? And the map that's easy to defend means tower pushing becomes even more viable in a way. If you can find those natural choke points. The rocket cannons coming forwards. It's 
going to really help with this, but I think there are just so many damn arrows. Archer spam is seriously strong. Oof. I mean, yeah, he did a good hit, but it's not enough. Or is it? He's got his own archers here. Is Red going to be able to pull back from this? He's got a few samurai. No, he's having to back, which means his workers are potentially in trouble. Good snipe on the rocket cannon. You see that? He saw it was in range. He stepped forward, took it out. One volley of arrows is all it takes to take out this kind of equipment. Oh, there's rocket cannons shooting back now. <laughs> Those workers are having to leave. Emigrate and go elsewhere. Ooh. I think the, the wave is, is slowing down. The rocket cannons actually seem to have been working. And then, of course, he's got his... Because uh, he's right next to his production buildings, he can keep spamming. The only thing that could stop Red from defending this is his uh, economy for, uh, falters. Which, looking at his... Look, zero meat, 70 wood. Yep. I didn't know that before I <laughs> before I looked at his eco. He's struggling. Let's have a look at uh, Marmalada's eco, yeah? Oh, look at that. So much higher. So his, his troops are not running out. They're going to keep coming. And look, he's actually building shooting ranges further forward to support so they don't have to run all the way across the map, all the way from his base. He's like, hold on, I need more speed here. Reinforcements need to come in faster. Tried to go for that, but I don't think that's going to work. I'm not sure. Is this the beginning of the end? Wow, that's a lot of rocket cannons back there. <laughs> Man, he's making, Man's making so many rocket cannons. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that many. Maybe he's struggling with uh, food so bad and rocket cannons only cost wood. So let's have a look at his economy again because he's the one where the pressure is. And then he can make archers with the food. But then he's also making samurai. So I don't know. How much does samurai cost? Oh, they don't cost, they don't cost wood. To be honest, maybe he's just making whatever he can. And he's actually, it's actually kind of working. So we got these archers coming in. Reinforcements from the sh from the many, many, many shooting ranges. God damn, Marmalade is looking to end this now. Look how many shooting ranges he's made. The deer is confused, like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Damn. I can't really tell who's winning this, this fight, but it's fun to watch. God damn, that is a lot of a lot of rocket cannons. I honestly think it's going to come down to the economy. Whoever whoever can't afford the troops anymore, which is looking like it's going to be red. Let me check yellow again. No, yellow is fine. Yellow is absolutely fine with his eco. Gonna have a look at his base in a bit when things calm down. I think I just think there's so many rocket cannons. He can't do it. Is that the reason? I mean, of course, he's put, he's using his own archers as like a a buffer, right? You can't just have rocket cannons because otherwise he'd run forward and shoot them. So he's kind of spamming as many infantry as he can afford. But really, they're kind of like the meat shields. The real damage is coming from... Well, I mean, yeah, let's have a look. 11 on that one. 8 kills on that one. 10 kills on that one. 14 kills on that one. 24 kills on that one. 14, 7, 21... 3, 11, oh, I think we've already looked at that one, haven't we? And 1. Damn. Yeah, I think, I think. And he's actually pushing back out as well. He's trying to make his own rocket cannons like, God damn, this is, <laughs> he's, this is working. I should build some myself. All right, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just going to jump down to the sea, see what's going on. Nah, no junks. I was hoping maybe. But then Marmalade has no fishing ships down here on the side. Oh, no, he does. Oh, there was a junk. Yeah, there was a junk and he killed it. But now he's sending his own junks. There's just so much action going on. So much action. He's pushing forwards. Shit. He has defended, I would say. I mean, it's not over because look how many damn shooting ranges there are here. He needs to start taking these. Look at that. Can you see? Right, so right now I'm looking at Red Player. Yeah? I'm looking at Poboxu. Uh, and you can see he's already queued his warehouse here and his, tar his tower here. He <laughs> he's, he's in a hurry. He's, he's not waiting for anyone. 
Can I just see these junks? Not doing much. There's some minor naval combat happening in the sea, but clearly both players are focused here just like we are. So the boats are kind of just doing like, a bit, you know, a bit of nothing. The thing is, I think if Marmalada's junks catch all of Red's fishing boats, that's going to be a seriously, like, a big problem for Red, I think. Because his eco is going to be damaged big time, and I'm not sure. Although he has lots of fish at the top, actually. He has lots of fish at the top, so actually maybe it won't be, it won't be too bad. It won't be too bad. That is a really good defense. I want to clap for this guy. Well done. So what's Marmalada doing? Now that, let's have a look. Okay, so he's, he's late Middle Ages. Harkabusiers are coming out. This junk is just parked outside the naval yard. What's going on in terms of eco? I mean, he's sort of abandoned it. Oh, of course, he's, he's already like farmed everything in his base. And his, all his eco has migrated, except for food, of course, migrated to this middle part of the map. Oh, man, with warships. He's going he's gonna to get the edge over here. Balloon Tower is really going to help him for the vision. I'm curious uh, to just quickly... Oh no, yeah, there it is. You can see it at the top because I'm uh, I'm on red. So red is nearly at late Middle Ages too. But Marmalade has outtecked him, so maybe this is going to be his opportunity to push back. 13, 20, 7, 15, 11, 30, oh, 30, <laughs> 31, 17. You, you know how in some RTS games you can like promote units? You know, and then they get stronger. So, like, you, when they get kills, they get like a small buff to their damage, a small buff to their health, to, to, in a way of uh, symbolizing veterancy uh, status, right? This guy would be 32, he'd be like max, star rank, you know, firing uh, red rockets at that with uh, extra splash damage, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe it's just a command and conquer thing, I'm not sure. It's, he's kind of really rinsing his workers here, you know. This is kind of a this is a good job. I mean, with a handful of Harkabusi has left alive now, he's still just taking out these workers, which is a big deal. Red clearly hasn't noticed. He's not doing anything about it. Oh, maybe he has. Oh, good shot. I think it was chance actually. Or maybe he thinks it's more important to take out these shooting ranges. He is. You know what? He is crushing this. I think Marmalade is in big trouble here. What, what has he got left? He's he's kind of losing because he, he can't he can't retreat from here because there's nothing left in his base. Yeah, there you go. GG. The king has fallen. <laughs> nah, not really. He's still first place because he's so got so many points. But um, that was a great game.